Accident investigators have revealed there was no mayday call from the police helicopter that had crashed into the roof of a Glasgow pub on Friday night. Nor did the aircraft carry a flight data recorder. The wreckage of the craft has now been removed from the scene as Cordelia Lynch now reports from Glasgow. A journey of loss and honour in a city filled with grief. Today, in eerie silence, the helicopter that caused such destruction is lifted, leaving behind a scene of devastation, but few clues. I can confirm that the helicopter does not have a cockpit voice recorder or a flight data recorder, commonly known as the black box. However, it does have a significant number of modern electronic systems on board, and it may be possible to recover recorded data from those systems. As the aircraft was left swinging in the wind, the search for the bodies below began. Families forced to wait as others remember. Nine people are now confirmed dead, with four still to be named. 56-year-old Samuel McGee is the latest to be added to the list of victims. Just a couple of miles away from the crash site, friends and colleagues have left tributes to the crew. This is where they set off from on Friday night, on the banks of the River Clyde. Reports suggest that they were called out to an incident in the south of the city. Witnesses near Pollock Shield East train station told Channel 4 News it was hovering for an hour, but then something went wrong. We now know the pilot didn't make a mayday call and there was no explosion or fire before it crashed into the roof of the Clutha pub. Inside, some people by the stage escaped, but the area where the regulars were sitting was badly hit. Nancy Primrose and her sister Anne Folds hold tight, knowing how close they came to losing each other. I thought she was dead and she thought I was dead because I was trapped inside it and I was watching bodies being pulled and thinking one of these could be my sister, oh my God. Tonight, Celtic manager Neil Lennon laid a wreath in a city famed for its love of football, now deep in reflection. Cordelia Lynch, Channel 4 News, Glasgow.